All right, here we go. Compass construction number two. We're gonna stick with segments, but this time we are going to bisect a segment. You guys remember what bisect means? Hopefully you remember that it means to cut something in half. All right, to cut something in half. And even more important than just bisecting a segment, this actually ends up being a perpendicular bisector of a segment, okay? Perpendicular, you probably already remember that from another class, but perpendicular means that the two things meet at a right angle, right? All right, so I've got this segment drawn on my paper already. If you need to pause and get that drawn on your paper, that's fine. But here we go with step one. We're gonna open our compass more than half of the length of the segment, okay? So, if you're not sure if it's more than half, just go a little wider. So I've got my compass open right here. That looks like it's probably a little bit more than half, but I'm not totally sure, so I'm gonna go just a little bit wider with it. Okay, now that is definitely more than half, okay? So that's step one, just open your compass more than half. If you don't open it more than half, this will not work. And I'll try to show you that real quick at the end, why it won't work. All right, step two. From one end point, doesn't matter which one, just pick one, draw an arc that extends both above and below the segment. Okay, so I'll show you what I mean by that. So I'm gonna start with this end point right here, and I'm gonna draw an arc That extends, and we usually don't like to stop in the middle of that, but it didn't work very well. All right, so see how it extends both above up here and below down here the segment? Okay, that's what we're looking for. All right, now this is very important for step three without changing your compass length. Do not let your compass length change when you do this. Okay, but what we're going to do is we're just going to repeat step two from the other end point. Now, when I say the other end point, that does not mean this point of intersection right here. Okay, I get some kids who want to do that, and their arc ends up way out here touching this. Right, you want to go to the other end point of the original segment. So we started here for the first one, drew this nice arc. Here we're going to start, and we're going to do another arc. Okay, so get my pivot point. All right. I'm going to draw an arc that goes both above and below the segment. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in on that so you can kind of see it a little bit better. Hopefully that pencil will show up a little bit darker as I zoom in. All right. All right, now, there's two things you need to see. See down here I have a point of intersection where the two pencil lines, the two arcs meet. And up here I have another one. Okay, those are important. If they don't intersect, you might not have made your arcs long enough. You might need to make them longer. Okay, remember you didn't change your compass, so you should be able to go back and just make them a little bit longer if you need to. But you need to see them intersect like that. In class sometimes, I'll refer to this as the football because that's kind of like a football shape and it helps people remember it usually. All right, so we're just doing the football, okay? Now what does step four say, last step? We're gonna connect our two points of intersection using a straight edge. Now, not, not these two points of intersection, okay? This one up here, and this one up here, the points of intersection with the arcs, not the arc with the segment. Okay, so get my pin out, connect from here down to here. Make sure I got that lined up right. Double check it a couple times and right there. Okay, now I can draw that as long as I want, that, that line going there. But what's important, remember bisect means to cut into two equal pieces. So this side over here is congruent to that side over there and it's perpendicular, it forms a right angle. Perpendicular bisector. Okay, if we want to put some letters on here, we might start with A on one end point, B on the other, and we'll call C, that point we just created, AC is congruent to CB. Okay, and that's what's going on there. Perpendicular bisector, bisecting a segment using your compass. That's the end of the second video. Got two more to go for compass construction.